Hey guys, Marmalade here. Thank you so much for joining me today for episode 10 of Five Things. In this episode, I'm gonna go over my five favorite inspirational or motivational quotes. I will say though, personally, I do look at quotes a lot. Uh, I do have a Pinterest I haven't used in years, but I go in there a lot just to look at, I saved a board of uh, hundreds of quotes. Sometimes. Especially if I get down or I'm not understanding something that's happening in my life. It's, for me personally, it helps. Uh, maybe it'll help you. All right, with that said, here's number one. I am happy out here. Messy hair, dirty feet, and wild water on my skin. Out here with the wild things. This is where I belong. Brooks Hampton. Love it. I feel like it, it describes how I feel when I'm out there, especially on a longer trip, a longer trail. Uh, it's a kind of an undescribable feeling and uh, if you haven't had it you got to do it it's just uh, it gives you time to think and just uh, kind of contemplate your life and what's important to you what's not and what you want to do in the future and what you can get rid of maybe even relationships or people you know uh, friendships that are, are toxic things like that so for me getting out there getting messy and getting dirty and being one with nature uh, means a lot to me and I always come back much more happy and centered and calm. All right, number two. The human spirit needs places where nature has not been rearranged by the hand of man. John Muir. So it's funny with John Muir, I mean, everything that seemed like everything the man said was brilliant and way ahead of his time. And um, uh, I could have done the whole video or done 20 on John Muir, but uh, I just picked one because I wanted to spread out the different types of uh, quotes that I appreciate and, and read. But man, the guy was brilliant, like I said, and um, he got it before anybody else really did. All right, number three. What you think you become, what you feel you attract, what you imagine you create, Buddha. So I wholeheartedly believe in this. Uh, I've read the book called The Power of Intention. It's been years, I probably should read it again. You guys, I'm sure know about it, but it, it is, uh, it's weird how your mind works, but the, the things, your thoughts, good, positive or negative, uh, your your passions your things if you want something like i wanted to through like the pct a couple of years ago and i got out of the corporate world and wasn't making enough money to really save enough to be gone six months so i adjusted my life got rid of my apartment threw my stuff in storage you know uh had somebody watch my car things like that so i got my expenses down i worked two jobs for like a year and a half day and night to do it so uh, that's not as much power of attention, but I just thought about it and thought about it and thought about it until it was a reality. And I think that's true in anything, whether it's friendships, relationships, uh, wanting to do adventures, travel, anything. So um, really work on your thoughts. It's very important that you control your thoughts and uh, focus on what you want, not what you don't want. All right, the last two are the two I told you I've used for years. It has nothing to do with backpacking, but here's number four. It's never too late to be what you might have been. George Eliot. And like I said, I absolutely love this one. Uh, it's very true. You know, we can get caught up in what I should have, could have, would have, all that stuff. And I had an opportunity, I didn't do this. You can, that, that is true sometimes, but it doesn't do you any good to focus on it in the future. So like it says, it's never too late to be what you might have been. I mean, just focus on what you want to be, you know, whether it's sports and you train or it's, you know, hiking to train to do that or whatever it is you're into. Uh, just because you haven't done it, it's never too late. And I firmly believe in that. All right, the fifth and final one. Whether you think you can or think you can't, either way, you're right. Henry Ford. All right, I'm sure you heard that one, but that's my favorite one. I've probably known that one for 25 years or more. I don't know, but it's it's good for anything. And it's just sometimes you lose your, your place and you don't know what direction you're going and things like that. So just know that you just have to really focus on what it is you want. Focus on the positives. Focus on... The, the steps to get there, things like that. Not, well, if I don't do this, I can't do that. I mean, until I went on my throughback, I really didn't know if I was going. I saved for a couple of years. Uh, I got rid of my apartment, like I said, and got rid of everything and put stuff in storage. And like, I still didn't know if I was going, but you have to go for it and see what happens. I and mean, that's what life's about. You can play it safe and you'll be safe all your life. But for me, as I've gotten older, I used to be about climbing the ladder, the corporate ladder and the next title and the next raise and trying to make as much money as I, could make because it made me feel successful and that's what I, I think we're taught in society is to be judged by but I've learned and this is simple that as I get older for the rest of my life I don't necessarily want to have things I want to have experiences and memories and do things 
So that's what I've been actively doing for probably the last three, three to five years. All right, I hope you like those five. Tell me some ones you live by or you like too. Uh, uh, any other ideas for videos too? I'm open to it. Uh, as I said in my previous video, I'm looking for, I may be doing a big epic hike this summer. I don't know yet, but I will announce it if I get to do it. But uh, I'm trying to shake it up. I, I can't afford and really don't especially like all the Mountain House meals and all those brands. I buy them once in a while on a day uh, overnight trip because I can splurge, but I can't afford that for a very long trip. So I'm looking for uh, recipe ideas you have, and I want to make a five things video and then rank them and try to pick out my favorite one. So if you have recipes, I don't want to um, dehydrate things. I don't have a dehydrator. I want to have uh, recipes mostly for dinner that are like uh, set um, ingredients. So like uh, it's already dried this, already dried that, things that I can package well. I can even stick in a resupply uh, box that I'm going to send to myself two weeks ahead that'll last. So I want recipes like that. Uh, I'll make them all. Uh, I'll go over them, I'll use your name if you want, and then I'll pick the winner, or at least my favorite, but it's going to give me some ideas for food, and it gives me another idea for a five videos, uh, five things video. So, uh, yeah, let me know if you have some ideas, and uh, I hope it was uh, inspirational and motivational, I guess. You know, uh, I do use them, I hope you do too, I think we all do at times, um, but uh, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed it, like I said, and until next time, see you down the trail.